Hey everyone, this is Teresa from Base 10 Montessori, and today I'm going to show you how to exchange with the golden beads for addition and subtraction. For addition, we're going to exchange, and then for subtraction, we're going to borrow. So let's start with addition. Now, if you want to see how addition is done, I would suggest going back to my addition video and watching that first, because we're going to move kind of fast through this. I'm not going to stop and explain every step this time. So. We're gonna start with the first child who's already gotten their beads and their number. So their number is 2,137. So we have that in our cards and we have that in beads. And we're gonna go ahead and dump all of the beads into this big basket over here. We call this dumping. That's how it's labeled in my album specifically, just in case you're wondering. So we've got everything there. And then we're gonna put the small number with these small cards right up here. So that's the first step, right? Now we have to have the second child's number. I'm gonna give the second child a number that forces us to exchange. Okay, so here's the second child's number. The second child got 1,226 in both symbols and quantity. So we have that. So let's do the same thing. Let's dump into our main tray right here. So we've joined all the beads together. Now again, we've done this before. We've done this with static addition, so now we're gonna do dynamic addition this time. Now we're gonna move these numbers to the top. So as you can see, we have our first add end and our second add end, and right here is what's gonna cause us to exchange. So the first thing we have to do is get our beads organized, right? So they're all in this tray, and now we have to organize everything. Let's start with our units. Let's put all of our tens together. Let's find all of our hundreds, now our thousands. Okay, so we've put everything together. I'm gonna to get rid of our tray. So now we have to count, right? But this time we're gonna introduce a special rule. And this rule is once we get to 10, we have to stop. Something special is gonna happen when we stop. And I'm gonna show you what that is as soon as we get to 10. So let's start counting with the first unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ooh, gotta make some more room, nine, 10, stop. We have 10 units right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, stop. When we have 10 units, we can scrunch them all together just like this. And what does it look like when we do that? We can put them all in a line. Yes, they do roll about. 10 units, it's a lot to work with, but it's the same as our 10 bar. So when we get to 10, we don't have to have all these units rolling around. We can take them to the bank and get another 10. So let's do that right now. Let's take our 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Let's go to the bank and exchange this for a 10 bar. All right, I've gone to the bank. I now have our 10 bar, our units are put away. They went back to the bank. So we've made an exchange. Can I put it here anymore? No, it doesn't match. It has to go in the category it matches with. So we're gonna put it over here. Now we can count our units. One, two, three. Once we've done the exchange, we only have three units to count. So let's go to those large number cards and get the matching symbol. All right, there's our three. We've got three units and we have the symbol of three. Let's go on and count our tens. We've got one ten, two tens, three tens is 30, four tens is 40, five tens is 50, Six tens is 60. So now we have to go to our large number cards and get the matching symbol. Now let's count our hundreds. One, two, three, 300. Move that up, let's get our symbol for that. And now 
We're going to count our thousands. One, two, three thousand. And here's our symbol for three thousand. Let's put it all together. I'm going to move these out of the way just a little bit so we can see just a little bit better. Let's do my favorite part of the magic slide because I love this part. Let's put our large numbers right here. Gonna line it up so the units are together. And that is exactly how you do dynamic addition with the golden beats. Now we're gonna pause for a second and I'm gonna switch to dynamic subtraction. Okay, so let's keep it really simple with the subtraction problem. Let's keep the number we used for addition. And this time we're gonna go a little bit in reverse and I'm gonna create a number that's gonna force us to borrow from the next category. So I have my large number cards, which are the menu end set up right here. And I have the golden bead set up as well. So that's how we start. And if you don't remember that, just go back to my subtraction video and I'll take you step by step through that process. But we'll have this all set up and then we'll ask the first child to get a number. So they're gonna get 1,226. And when they come back to me, they're only gonna have this number. They're not gonna have any golden beads, remember, because we're gonna take away this time. All right, so we've put the cards in order and now we have to start taking away. So I'm gonna put child one's tray right to the side. All right, so we have our menu end set up at the top, that large number. And here's our subtrahend right here. This is what the child's number is gonna be. Now we have to start taking away, right? So when we take away, we're gonna put whatever we take away, whatever belongs to the child, whatever number is gonna go in their tray. So the first number we have to take away is six. So let's start taking away six units. One, two, three. Oh no, we can't do it. There's nothing there. What are we gonna do? Well, let's put this back for a moment and let's think, how can we make more units? I know, let's go to the next category higher. This is a 10, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You know what? If we take this 10 to the bank and exchange it for 10 units, all individual pieces, and put it in the unit category, we'll have enough. So when we don't have enough, we have to go to the next category higher and borrow. So I'm gonna take the next category higher, which is the 10, and I'm gonna take it to the bank, and I'm gonna break it into 10 units, and then bring it back to my unit pile. So let's do that right now. All right, I've just gone to the bank. I put my 10 bar in, and instead of a 10 bar, I have 10 units. So let's put them right there. Now I think we have enough. Let's see if we can take away six now. One, two, three, four, five, six, stop. This is six. We were able to take away six. So let's put that on the child's tray because the child's number is six. Now they match. But now we have to count and see how many we have left because we still have a lot of beads in our unit category. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's take the seven out of my small teacher cards right there. There it is. Let's see if we can do our tens. We started out with six. How many tens is the child gonna take away this time? Two, let's see if we can do it. One, two, they took away two tens. Let's count and see how many we have left. One ten, two tens, three tens is 30. Let's go to my box of numbers that's right there for the teacher and get out 30. There's 30. Let's go to our hundreds. How many hundreds is the child going to take away this time? 200. One, two. How many is left? 100. Okay, so let's go to our box and take out 100. There it is. 
Now let's move on to our thousands. We had 3,000 and the child came along and took away 1,000. All right, they took away 1,000. How many are left? One, two. So let's go over to our teacher box and take out the small card that matches 2,000. So when we get to this part, remember we've already been doing subtraction for a while with the child. They've been doing static subtraction already. So the only thing new we're doing in this lesson is borrowing from the next category higher to make more for when they run out. So that's the only thing that's different in this lesson. That's as simple as it gets for dynamic subtraction. So I hope this has been helpful to see. If you have any other questions or comments, just leave them down below the video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. With that being said, if you like what you see here, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.